taking a little trip to Uniqlo in order to find work clothes that pretty much resonate with me and you know my wardrobe is in dire need of an update um, since I've moved here and my office is having a little bit of an in-person meeting thing so I kind of have to look you know presentable for that so I thought what a lovely excuse to go shopping <laughs> I really really love Uniqlo because I don't even know how to explain it but they pretty much hit all of the points in terms of what I look for in a work wardrobe I if I if it was up to me I would wear you know my alt fashion you know Harajuku stuff all the time but Life is not like that, unfortunately, so I'm going to find pieces at Uniqlo that at least somewhat resonate with me and, and kind of have elements of my personality, of my J fashion interests and stuff like that, while also being, you know, professional. By the way, just to quickly mention, I make cartoon reviews, well, basically anime reviews, share fashion ideas, and geek about pretty much anything related to Japanese lifestyle in pop culture. So if that sounds like you, hit that subscribe button. All right, let's not waste any more time. I'm gonna be taking the bus for the first time today and I'm a little bit nervous, but fingers crossed that things aren't, you know, too weird on there, especially with the way that I'm dressed. I don't think I'm dressed that weird, but you know, people be crazy, bro. You can wear sweats and they'll still like, be weird and it's also like I don't know how frequent they run but we'll see waiting for the next bus I have to take two buses just to go there and it seems like the first one went one way and it's just I have to take another one to go exactly the opposite direction LA Looks like I arrived in one piece. So I'm walking to the mall now, which should be just around the corner. Wait, I'm actually so excited. I haven't been to a mall in forever. Like, it's kind of fun, even though I only have an hour to find something cute. not have malls like this in New York. Mall is so fucking huge. I'm on the second floor now. I think I need to go up another level. Ooh, yeah, I haven't been to this big of a mall in ages. Especially after COVID. Oh my god, I thought it was closed for a second. I was gonna cry. I'm not gonna lie, this is me 
Uniqlo looking mighty dead. I don't know if it's because they're closing in an hour, but like, where's the music? Where's the cool like anime merch? I'll just keep looking. <laughs> any of this. I think I'm gonna just go someplace else. Alright, I just dipped because it was closed and I was not feeling it, so I think I'm just gonna go someplace else now. We'll see. I mean, this mall is huge. There has to be something. Trippy. I forgot we had Zara. I'm going straight in because Zara usually has my back. <laughs> And that was a bus too. Yeah. Uh, all right, I saw one really cute trendy store while I was walking in, so I'm going straight there. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna have to go to Macy's. I really don't like going to Macy's because it's so big and intimidating and I just get like a headache by the end of it. But if it comes to that, it'll come to that. So it was this place by yeah, there's nothing professional about that. Still gonna go in though. It's kinda cute, kinda not. This is cute too. Who wears a skirt like this? It's actually really pretty, especially for spring. Wait, I know it's not professional for work, but this is so cute. Like, I love this blue. So cute. Oh, it's gonna fall. This is also super cute. It was like adorable. I don't know if that would qualify as work safe. I think it would like a little part again. This could also qualify as work safe. If I wear really high pants. Is that $43? Yeah, that was also a disaster. I think I'm just gonna go to Macy's then. Crawling back to mama. Crawling back. There's nothing particularly wrong with Macy's. It's just that it's so like mid, <laughs> for lack of a better word. It's just like eh. It's just like a whole lot of eh. And you just go around in circles and circles and you just until you find nothing and it's like well that was a waste of my time but let's try to stay optimistic today okay great it looks like we're immediately in like it looks like work stuff so at least i didn't have to walk too much this is also why i always shop online but shopping online has its downsides too the ultimate goal is to thrift, but COVID was a little weird about that. And I don't know how LA is with thrift shops yet. Am I gonna front? I look you like this. I could easily hate it, so. Okay, we're starting to get more somewhere, but everything looks mid still. Oh man, it's like so many, so many options. Like, just so much. It's just so much. These are really pretty colors. I actually really like this. Maybe these might work. I don't know. This might work. Let it come out. Actually, I don't like that one much. This one's really cute though. These aren't that bad, like blouse wise. I'm gonna hold this. Actually, how much is it? Uh, I'm not crazy about that price. But I might hold on to it. Let's see. Okay, but these are on sale for like $8.99 and it's like kind of the same style. And I would actually wear this. Honestly, I just started shopping for work again and I'm already over it. I kind of like that this one's plain. I don't know, I might leave the other one just because these are so much cheaper. But this is so cute. It 
makes me feel like I'm in a K-drama, you know what I mean? If you know, you know. Honestly, I'm surprised by how much boho stuff still exists. Like the sheer multitude. This one's really cute and malleable. Like you can like dress it up, dress it down, wear it in and out of work. So I'm like thinking about it. Depending on what the final price is, because 34 is definitely too much. I've been wanting a jacket like this for so long. But it's like over $200. <sighs> well, I guess I'm just getting this. I don't see any pants, so this it is. All right, at the very least, I got a top. So, kind of a half one. I guess I'll wear it with like black pants and like a pair of heels, so should be fine. And I'm gonna see if I can eat somewhere now. Hopefully, they're not all closed yet. It's not quite eight yet, so I'm gonna run. All right, so I guess the dining is on street level, which I always forget is a thing here in LA. All right, I just went back because I'm like, where are the dining spots? But I guess that they're all like spread out and stuff. So I'm like, I might as well just go across the street to eat and not worry about things closing. So I think I'm just gonna end it here and go eat <laughs> and then go home. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And as always, love you guys, and till next time.